Well, here we are over at Starcar Install, and we're taking a look at a vehicle that's been put together in conjunction with ourselves here at SirenNet. And what's essentially going on here is we have a Chevy Tahoe, which has been purchased by one of our customers. But what they're wanting to do is to reuse as much of their older equipment as they possibly can, while at the same time updating equipment that needs to be updated. And that's becoming a, quite a popular trend here in the United States and undoubtedly around the world as well. Now some of the components that they reused were these two Whelan 2F series Power 36 LEDs. There's nothing wrong with them. They've been in service for about three years. Lifespan on this type of light product is about six in total. So they've reinstalled those. And then again, you have the SA315P siren speakers, two in the grill. And the reasoning behind this is that the siren amplifier that's pushing these speakers is capable of putting out 200 watts. If you've got the ability to do that, I do recommend using two speakers as opposed to one. You're definitely going to get more output. Another thing, by the way, about speakers, you really want to try and place them in such a position that you're able to get the maximum output without actually having something directly in the front. And here we have the guys here at Starcar mounting a Satina push bumper and pit system. And we have also mounted on the side of the Satina push bumper a pair of TIR3s. These, of course, are a product that will give effective intersection clearing left and right of the front push bumper area there. The console has now gone into the vehicle along with the radio control and other equipment, including the MDT. And you can see a Mastercom siren unit is actually included in there. There's also some Code 3 lighting which has been used on the back lid area of the tailgate. And that's part of the Code 3 LX series. Now we've taken the vehicle over to the customer. They're going to put it into service. So we'll kind of a, take a quick walk around it. You can kind of see it in a nice bright sunny day that we have here in the Pacific Northwest. And the Tahoe does make a pretty serious vehicle when it's on the road. Nice thing about it, though, is it's very, very utilitarian from a police aspect, as well as, of course, EMS or any other function that you want to put it to. It's got plenty of space inside. We've also mounted some intersectors under the rearview mirrors. Let's step inside the vehicle now. It looks a lot cleaner. The boys and girls have cleaned it up over at Starcar. And there's that Mastercom siren unit that's capable of pushing out 200 watts through those SA315P siren speakers. There's also a series of gun locks which have been mounted inside there for the respective weapon systems that this customer will be using, along with some additional flashlights and, of course, the ever important coffee cup holders. The Apex bar fits nicely on this particular vehicle. And we're going to take a step inside in a moment and we'll check out the rear area. And by the way, we're turning on the lighting too in a minute as well to give you a look at that too. As we go inside, we have a Satina screen with a recess panel. That's where that little indentation area is at the side there. Now they've left the existing seats inside the vehicle and then we have an additional screen mounted behind those passenger seats. And as we move into the back there, again, some more TR3s. They have some gun lock boxes. Because again, this vehicle is used by a sergeant, so it'll be a patrol sergeant who'll be using this vehicle. So it'll kind of go out on specialty calls. We've also mounted in the rear tail area, as you lift up the tailgate there, some vertexes. Also included in the rear area here is they've tied in the ability to flash the brake lights against the reverse lights, which give a certain amount of kick to the back of the vehicle. Now the apex bar is currently on. We're also seeing as we move along the side window there, that is an additional Code 3 XL EX1 F series light head. Now some of these components, as I mentioned at the beginning, were components that they had reused from previous vehicles. The Apex bar itself puts out a lot of light, and again, it comes in a variety of color configurations. They've chosen to use this particular bar with red and blue with a red-blue center. It also has LED takedowns and alley lights as well. So we get down on the ground here, nice ground shot. We get a chance to uh, see those Whelan 2F series Power 36s kicking away. Now that style of light, by the way, has changed, and currently we do no longer sell those on Sirenet. But again, there's a good light and reusing equipment, as I said earlier, does make economic sense, and in this case, it worked out very well.
taken the vehicle inside their underground garage and uh, get a chance to see the lighting configuration in a more darker environment. Also included in the package with this particular vehicle is a pair of headlight flashers, which are firing away left and right. And as I mentioned earlier, under the rearview mirrors, exterior, of course, you have the intersectors, red and blue, respectively, placed on the opposite sides to one another. We're also firing away the takedown lights, giving a nice punch there with respect to the additional white light to the front of the vehicle. As we move to the back, again, we'll see the Code 3 LXEX1 F-Series mounted up on the rear window area of the back of the vehicle in the TIR6s. And then the TIR3s mounted beside the number plate left and right side firing away there. And the combination of these lights do give a pretty good back protection. And of course, we've got the apex bar as you move further back from the vehicle you can clearly see that as well firing away too. So from the point of view of using a combination of new and old, it's definitely something that can go together quite well. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed it. As always, I'm Stuart, and thanks for watching Sarnet Television.